All right, so uh, this is uh, the video for Elgato's port. Probably not gonna do any uh, editing or whatnot. Ain't gonna have a lot of kids in the background. All right, so problem with the Steam Deck. This is V1. Whenever I sign into Windows, be it 10 or 11, it goes to the logo screen. But when I turn my computer on, you'll see it'll come up with the with all my uh, what are they decks? I forgot or widgets. It'll come up with all my widgets. But once I go to sign in, it's going to go back to the logo screen. It doesn't matter if I uninstall uh, Elgato on the PC, reinstall it, uh, go into Device Manager, uninstall it, reinstall it, uh, unplug it, move it on any of the many USB ports I have on the back of my motherboard, not a uh, monitor or a hub. It does not matter. It always does the same thing, but let me go ahead. Turn the PC on. PC on, fresh start. And then after a Windows update, it will sometimes give me like two or three boot ups before it goes back to doing this. All right, so. Huh, normally it would at least go back to the logo screen. Let me see. There it is. And then sign in. I hate when it does that. Let's see, even. My keyboard has been acting funny. It doesn't do this often, but it does do this as well. For All right, so as you can see, stuck on the logo screen. Yeah, this is Windows 11, but this was still happening on Windows 10. It's been happening for a long time, but I finally got tired of it. And it's like, before I take this back to Micro Center and get the V2, I'm like, is the V2 gonna be doing the same thing? All right, so. I come down here, quit. All right. And then just bring it back up. And boom. Yeah, I can do that every time I want to use it, but I don't want to do that. This is over $100 for this. So why would I want to do that every time? Uh, but yeah, that's exactly what happens every time. Sorry for all the background noise. But uh, that's exactly what happens. No matter what I do, I can uninstall, stream deck, reinstall it, clear out the profile, do a new profile. This is actually a new profile. But um, it, it doesn't matter. And the weird thing is, like I said, after a Windows update, I just had one a couple of days ago because they were fixing the AMD issue, which I didn't even notice. And um, like at least two shutdowns and come back and power on. But actually this time I only got one. It will work. Like as soon as it came on, sign in and boom. And actually... 
Oh, and I also have tried run as administrator. But with that, I do get my widgets. But none of the buttons would actually work. I would have to do that and show it to you, but I'm not about to do that because I got to turn it off, turn it off. But yeah, everything it would show, but none of the buttons would work when it came back up as a admin. But yeah, that's that's what it's been doing. Uh, if you need any more information, just let me know. But uh, thank you for watching.